Dame Edna has become a show business phenomenon. Over five decades, she's conquered Australia and Britain, and now even America. I'm a megastar, I'm a fame stain. Something that no comic has ever done. The New York Times rates Barry Humphreys up there with the legendary Charlie Chaplin as one of the greatest comedians of all time. And he's certainly that. It's been the time. I think 50 years is a bit of a record for one theatrical invention. Uh, and I'm rather proud of that. You know, it's sort of coming home to me a little bit now. So you should. She said, look to me when I'm talking to you. Broadway was the highlight. I never thought that it was possible to get the Tony Award, which is a, the highest accolade Broadway can bestow. I was chatting away, <laughs> and I saw some little Japanese people in the front row having a lovely time. And I said to these sophisticated Broadway people, oh, we've got some lovely little Japs in the audience. <laughs> and everywhere, went, oh! Is she funnier than Barry Humphreys? I think much funnier. And I think that she's got really an abnormal amount of adrenaline. In fact, I find it quite exhausting just to be in her company. Oh, Ray, Dame we're Edna. in the town hall. You know, the Lord Mayor has always wanted to show me his enormous organ. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? <laughs> it isn't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, how, how old is the enormous organ? Well, it goes it? back to the 1890s. Oh, really? It stretches way back. Aren't we easily amused, <laughs> Ray? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Oh, well, welcome man. to the market. Long <laughs> man, Saturday morning, and it's a regal moment at the Queen Victoria Market. Uh, hello, uh, Have a nice day. You enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> hello, darling. Oh, I love you, Edna. It's all courtesy and curtsies for the dame and her latest consort, the Lord Mayor John Sutton. Now, Mr. Mayor, there is a rumour that Dame Edna is really a man in a frock. No, 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 no. There's every bit a lady, a great dame. No doubt about it? I have no doubt whatsoever. She so even gave me a kiss. <laughs> I got the lipstick to prove it. <laughs> I think he's taking a shine to you, Edna. Ah. Ray. <laughs> He could be a stalker. He is a potential stalker. So I try not to encourage people too much. I'm still a very attractive woman. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame Edna Everidge. She's got the key to the city, she's graced our stamps, and she's about to be on our coins. And now they've even named a street after her. And on the corner where there was once a dignified little sweet shop, look. The Mooney Ponds Kebab House. Hello. Hello. How are you? I lived here when I was a small girl. I used to live here. Yeah. I'll see you at the show, darlings. I enjoy being famous. Bye. I am the light at the end of every housewife's tunnel. <laughs> Dame Edna, it seems, has become very much her own woman. The rumour keeps growing that he's really you, that in fact you're him in a dress. I heard the rumour a long time ago. It happens to a lot of female achievers. If you're successful as a woman, they assume there is a man involved. It's tragic. Has it happened to Kylie, Nicole? People have said that of Kylie that she is, in fact, Jason Donovan. If she decides to hang up the frocks, will you miss her? Um, I don't think that's ever likely to happen. <laughs> you need the money, do you? Barry needs the money from Edna. He's extravagant. <laughs> Clap if you feel like it. Barry! <laughs> After 50 years living with Barry Humphreys, it's become a bizarre relationship, a strange kind of theatre. <laughs> It's a little bit tense, Raymond. I've known Barry so long. And as my mother used to say to me, I can read him like a book. And it's not always a book that I would let children to peruse. If I could get Barry together with you, 
Could you we? never will. Well, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Well, we did. After a bit of flattery, bribery and arm twisting, they came together. For the first time on camera. Reluctantly, and I'm afraid, a little hostile. Oh, Ray, this is a historic moment. I never really thought I would be in a studio with someone as lovely as you and someone as, quite frankly, irritating as you, Barry. Edna, you've said to me, you've said that, uh, that he's dysfunctional, that he's a sick man. I've never thought you were well. I've thought you've lived your life through me. I've been the famous one and you've been... Well, I, I'm going to use the L word now. You've been the loser. You are a loser. Barry, Ed, Edna's on the stamps. Edna is the one who gets the key to the city. She's the star. I'm glad. It gives me the greatest pleasure that I have played a very important role in creating this, dare I say, monster. Can we sort it out, Dame Edna? After 50 years, can we sort it out? I've thought of litigation, but why bother? I'm going ahead without you, Barry. Thank you, thank you. Ray Martin, and goodbye, Barry Humphreys.